Hey Aquarius, what's up? So we're going to do past life reading. I feel like something in your past life is approaching you or coming up. Um, and, and it's something that needs to be more explained. So I couldn't do a short because it was like there was more information that wanted to come through. All right. So there's definitely a gateway that um, you're going to be walking through. And it has to do um, with releasing energy from this past life okay what is this this energy that's going to be released this gateway palladian activation coming together harmony in the heavens and resolution okay so coming together harmony in the heavens harmony in, okay so harmony in the heavens so something definitely spiritually was um i'm hearing like there was something that was disconnected, unraveled, okay? Um, and maybe maybe your connection to your star family um, was, was unraveled. Or maybe even um, connection just to higher consciousness or to source. Like something was undone. And I feel like it had to do with a, a block or a mindset or an experience or a trauma that you face in a past life, okay? Yeah, the um, unicorns want it to come in. All right, let's see. Hope, stay positive. The world is behind you. Look up to the light. So definitely something with trust as well. Like trusting the universe, um, surrendering to the universe, trusting the universe, surrendering to the universe discernment all is not what it seems stay true to your knowing keep your dreams a secret all right so that's also ah okay so there's also this energy of like things that have not worked out in the past um projects maybe jobs um maybe even relationships and it was because of the people that you had around you there was a lot of evil eye going on a lot of envy jealousy this kind of thing and um in the past because you weren't fully uh, protected by the self-care self-love work that you're doing you know i'm um, a spiritual protector protection you're doing the energy work you're doing the affirmations you're doing um the belief in self the strength in self um that you almost felt like it was it was you okay you it almost felt like it was you that like you were the problem all right and why things weren't working out for you but it wasn't it was because you recorded to a lot of people um and you were almost like living their karma with them okay yeah look so this definitely has to come from a past life um a galactic past life so it might be this energy of you, the galactic war, and maybe you were abandoned during that time, all right? And a lot during that time, during the galactic war, um, when basically uh, Lyra was destroyed, okay, um, a lot of Lyrans had to go and live with other um, consciousness, okay, so like Palladians, or you might have went with the Syrians, but because it's, this is a Palladian activation, you might have been a starseed that went and lived with, um, went to the Palladians, okay, a Palladian ship is what I'm feeling, And I feel like because of that, there is this, there has been like a wounding um, that not only that you've carried with you, but also um, that you've, it's almost as if like you have accepted contracts to be into families um, that kind of where their bloodline had the same wounding. Okay. So you were getting it like double dose. Okay. Of um, feeling not accepted, feeling not worthy, not significant, feeling unseen, um, even though, like, it's almost as if your gifts were downplayed, okay? So it was like, um, so you learned to, like, not accept yourself or not to see yourself as, like, this beautiful unicorn, this rare gem, this diamond. But I just heard all is being healed now, all right? Now, for some of you guys, um, 
that may not resonate with the galactic past life. Yeah, this came out when I was starting to do the short. This came out and I was like, someone was a doctor, but it goes deeper than that. Um, I, I, I can't remember what reading we did, but we said that um, somebody somebody might be a medical psychic, okay, where uh, you receive like, and this is really clear, clear cognizance, okay, um, where you rec receive a download of an ailment, and not only uh, a download of an ailment, but you might, if you're very clairvoyant as well, which you are Aquarius, right, or if you're really tapped into that, you might also see where the ailment is in their body, okay, so if someone, um, and this isn't to say where the pain is, this this is to say where, where, um, it's being caused, like where the blockage is that is causing the pain. Like you might have a blockage um, like in your low back, but your feet hurt. You know what I mean? And sometimes people don't understand that, that it's not the feet that need to be helped. It's like the low back or or it might be something um you know, even different from that, it might just be trauma within the, the low back that's being held. Okay, so what this is also telling me is that maybe some of you guys have experienced some chronic pain issues and this and that, okay, and um, some of that has been caused because you're holding on to this, this wounding from a very uh, early age. So um, some of you guys might certainly be Palladian starseeds or Lyran starseeds, okay? Um, or you might be uh, Syrian star seeds because that just because those are just what's coming out right now. Um, and just because that's what I said doesn't mean you, you didn't come from somewhere else. And this is just included because everyone was affected by the Galactic War. It just wasn't those three. Um, I, I say consciousness because that's just easier. It's easier to refer to um, them as that. But what I'm getting with this, with the health too, all right, so this also was reminding me of, um, you know, you working heavily with Archangel Raphael and um, ha having a bloodline of, of doctors, okay, or something like this, or people in the medical field, you know, and then maybe being ostracized or being looked at as a black sheep because you didn't go into that field. Maybe you went into something completely different, you know, or maybe you did go into that field, but you're not feeling... Uh, what's coming out you're not feeling um, aligned to it and it just may be where you're at it may not be what you're doing it may be where you're at like some doctors um, they thrive in the hospitals but then some doctors thrive you know by going to third world countries and offering um, you know uh, medical help and, and this and that to um, tribes and to you know these these kinds of things right so it just might be the environment as well when i'm saying so this this is another thing that's coming up with this environment sometimes it's your environment that is causing the pain okay so uh say a house that's filled with black mold and you don't see it but you're always getting sick and then when you move from the house you finally you feel better and then like three months later you find out that they got shut down or whatever because they were seeded with black mold you know that kind of thing so it's like moving in the environment now for you guys that's one example it also could be again like with the uh the job like maybe it's not what the type of work you're doing but it's just where you're doing it and moving to another spot you know what i'm saying and that's where you'll thrive at so this could be like um uh, you know, where you're offering your energy work services, maybe you're offering it on the wrong platform, maybe you're promoting your business on the wrong social media, and you need to move. Um, okay, but there's the wounding of lack, there's and there's this food thing that's coming through again, too, it's the scarcity is coming through this abandonment wound, all right, or this feeling of not having enough, not having, um, yeah, not having enough, right? There's this, there's this feeling, and also this feeling of being unseen, right? So there's a lot of like uh, scarcity, not enough, uh, not being seen, abandonment. Those four woundings that are coming up from past lives, and um, it's kind of stopping you from moving from from uh jumping from one one lane to the to the other or uh jumping from one train that's going uh in the direction you don't it's not it's not growing it's stagnant it's not growing or it's just or it keeps 
decreasing, right? It's not giving you results to jumping on the train that is growing, that is uh, expanded. There's more room on this train to grow, okay? And it's it's going and it's also going into a tunnel where there's uh, unknown possibilities here, which is, is expansion, all right? So there's room to grow on this other train. So some of the wounding is, is uh, is stop is stopping you from taking the leap doing the trust fall they're showing me um the full card okay so also some of you guys were scribes or writers in your past life um i'm getting this i'm getting a justice or a judgment kind of thing like where where you wrote up judgments um i'm seeing a mortgage statement so maybe you were um Maybe you had, maybe you were like a lawyer who in the olden days where you had to write out a lot of agreements and contracts, okay? And I'm definitely, definitely getting that because there's like a seal on here, all right? So um, that might have been like sealing an agreement, sealing a contract, and you might have been responsible for doing this for people or casting judgment on people. So I feel that there might be an energy of releasing judgment, okay? So um, non-attachment and releasing judgment so that might be stopping you as well because remember when you judge others you so shall be judged type of energy so it's um, coming out of that and also a lot of times when you're judging others it's only because there's something within yourself that you either don't want to face or deal with or you're not taking accountability or responsibility for okay and it might be that you're not recognizing your your strength you're not recognizing your rarity you're not recognizing or accepting um the fact that you are you are uh you're, you're a diamond you are a rare gem okay um it's it, people are not going to come by you okay twice in a lifetime it's it's just it's just not it just won't happen all right and i feel like um your past your family's relationships things like this that you've been through have only kind of um dimmed you I'm, I'm seeing like rocks like being like put on top of you right and it's like now you have to come out and you have to find balance within yourself to not only release what other people may have done but to release that from within you okay so to, to detach right to release it to to not hold on to uh you know the negative thoughts of what people um thought of you but also to not hold on to the negative thoughts that you think of yourself you know when i was first starting to do coaching one of the first things that I recommended to someone was um, I want you to say I love you in the mirror three times she says what and I was like yeah say I love you and she's like I, I never tell myself I love you I said well you got this this is where it starts and the first time she did it she absolutely cried because like she couldn't do it she just had so much uh, hatred within that she couldn't face herself you know and a lot of that stems from um, shame or knowing that you you held yourself back because of codependency wounds being afraid of rejection um, being afraid of not being seen or recognized you know so you so you hop into uh, a mask or or body or persona that someone will accept but it's not you and it's actually hiding who you truly are your beauty your your rainbow energy okay so some of you guys might consider yourself rainbow children as well or even blue rays because i'm getting that a lot from the pleiadian energy so yeah um and that might be significant for some of you guys. Maybe that's something that you have to do. Um, there's this energy too. Like I, I write down I love you when I'm feeling like stagnant and I, I just can't release. I just go to love and I just write I love you. And I write it like thousands of times like literally like I and I won't I will not create anything until I reach that goal like if my higher self is like we have to write it 3,000 times then I do my day-to-day -day stuff and I will not create anything anything until I have finished that particular self-love exercise it's also a way it's a clearing it's releasing writing is releasing but it's also um, a way to appreciate self and it's also a way to heal your inner child okay so you you guys are healing um, 
wounds, like inner childs from past lives, if you if you un can like jive with me on that, okay? So, um, because that energy stays with you, it's a part of your I am presence, it's a part of that that mastery, okay? So, um, because you guys are this this beautiful, uh, you know, air energy, okay? It, it is time to really um, make sure that you are not being held back by any emotions, okay? Yeah, any water. Remember that water holds memory. So that the, the water within you and the water within your emotional body is holding all of this memory and it's just bringing it with you. But it's time to release that. It's time to detach from that so that you can fully move forward unburdened, okay? Yeah, that's what's really, yeah, that's what's really coming through. It's, it's like... It's this emperor energy of you really being prepared to level up in some way, shape, or form, or to go the distance. Okay, so this is the other thing, like big boss energy. You don't you don't get big boss energy by saying, "Oh, okay, I'm only going to be this energy," you know, once a week. No, big boss energy is like a mindset. All right, so this is for you guys to have your businesses, or you want to start a business, or you want to start whatever it is. It could be a nonprofit, or it, whatever it is that you want to start, but you have to go the long haul so this means you you have to release uh the things that would keep you in a state of self-sabotage okay yeah i feel like uh there's something else that's coming through here that the galactic uh, deck wants to talk about galactic dimensions oracle heart portal receptivity generosity and mistrusting so mistrust, that's what's really standing out to me. Mistrust. Because that's not like distrust, that's mistrust. Let's, oh, and there goes judgment. There goes the number 20 on there too. Hmm. And this is definitely fifth dimensional heart energy with the pink and the green. Okay, and the white. So you guys are raising up into fifth dimensional energy, that's for sure. Um, and this is where you learn through joy, ease, effortlessness, uh, fulfillment, okay? Yeah, like these, th this kind of learning happens more because you've released uh, karmic energy. So this, right, okay, releasing this. Mistrusting. Spirit. All right, he says it's it's like self doubt, like releasing self doubt. Okay, so um, you can even look at this and be like, and just stare at it and allow yourself it to help open your heart and to release mistrust. Yeah, I'm trying to feel into the card. Hold on. Okay, they're showing me like a gardener and he's like, he's digging, he's, he's, uh, uh, what's this, uh, what do you call that? I think it's like cultivating. He's, he's like preparing the ground. So he's digging out all the weeds. He's getting out all the rocks and he's like, he's preparing the ground for, for seeding. All right. So for new life, for new ideas, new projects, um, new methods, um, new moves, new locations, locations, like I said, it doesn't always, this is the other thing too, like it doesn't always mean like physical as well, it could be for some of you guys, and for some of you guys, it's uh, energetically, um, and energetically meaning like platforms as well, um, or energetically moving from scarcity mindset into abundance mindset, and making that your focus, Yeah, there's also definitely, I feel like there's something, what's, what's hidden behind here, spirit, that is, oh, yeah, 19, all right, so, this energy, okay, so what's hidden behind here, there's going to be something that's going to come in really fast, that is going to allow you to come into balance, okay, to release this energy, to come into a death of this. So you can come into your full rebirth. So this is kind of like, I see this as a jump. I see this as you're releasing this, you go through this heart portal and you come here. 
right? To where you're in this energy of, of I have hope again. You're, you're you, okay? So hope is you, is Aquarius, is a star. And then clear discernment. This is you um, looking at with your heart and also feeling with your heart and allowing um, your higher self, your guides to help to guide you on your journey. So that way you don't get into any situations that are not for your highest good. Okay, and with this energy, it allows you, right, with this alignment that happens, it allows you to get this activation where um, where you come into union with self, come into union with your galactic heritage, you come into harmony um, with the heavens, so with the higher dimensions, so this is uh, above the crown chakra, so your casual chakra, your soul star chakra, and your stellar gateway chakra, and then also resolution, um, is something that you've been having a hard time getting a choice on, or, 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 or seeing clearly, okay, and you maybe have put it to the side until other things kind of happen. And then there goes the door. Then the door appears. So it's kind of like uh, what they say, like, you know, when um, the teacher is ready, the student appears. Or when the student is ready, the teacher appears type of energy. So for you guys, it's almost like when you're ready for this opportunity or for this upgrade, it will appear. Okay? The door will open for you. So that's another thing. So it's more than like you seeing the door. And not only will the door open for you, but, or excuse me, will the door appear, but it's going to open. It's going to be open to you. And all you have to do is walk through. So this is that moment where you take the leap, where you, you, where you trust and you follow your intuition. You jump on the other train that's going in a different direction from what you're going in now. This also could be either a change. Um, this is what I'm feeling coming through, a change in product line or a change in how you uh, mix something or how you offer something okay um yeah or how you it's it's a change in your methodology behind something it's like you finding the formula uh that opens the floodgates of success to you the floodgates of abundance to you um in any way shape or form whatever that is for for you okay um it could be in the form of clients it could be in the form of you know getting lectures it could be in the form of selling books or selling products it could be in the form of uh you know um getting promotional offers it could be in the form of getting um new subscribers views these kinds of things whatever it whatever your your uh your geniuses okay um and how you wish to manifest that genius into um into the world I was I was hearing into 3D, right? Because these this is uh, you're understanding that even though you may be raising to a higher uh, dimension, um, the work that you are you're doing you're doing it in uh, the uh, realm of manifestation, which is uh, the third dimension. All right, like physical manifestation, I should say. Excuse me. Earth. Okay. Nine of Cups, yeah, look at that, wish fulfillment. So this is, I feel like that's also what's hidden from you is that your wish is about to come true. All right, so whatever this was keeping you in balance, whatever was keeping you in this place of, um, you know, like, what is what is this last thing that is going to help me overcome this uh, abandonment wound? What is this last thing that's going to help me overcome this scarcity? What is this last thing that's going to help me overcome uh, feeling insignificant or not worthy? What is this last thing that's going to help me overcome rejection, you know? Like, um, I feel like, so it could be different for all of you guys. Um, I don't think there's anyone that's like dealing with all of these right now. Okay. And also you may resonate with one past life, not with all of them, but there is certainly someone here that resonates with this whole thing. Okay. Yeah. And it's like you, you've been doing hella work. Yeah. Look at this. Look at that fulfillment coming in emotional fulfillment and I feel like that might be what the uh the the biggest wish is is for you to be able to live your passion to live your genius uh and be emotionally fulfilled doing it you know yeah happiness in the home within relationships as well like being surrounded by people of integrity honesty loyalty devotion people on your vibe people on your vibration um feeling being able to feel home uh, not only within yourself, but also around you, your community, 
Yeah, look at this. Did I tell you it ends a cycle? There goes the world card. And this is also confirmation of that move that we were talking about. And remember that the world, um, it's not always, is what I've learned, it's not always a physical move. It could be, um, you know, emotional. It could be mental. It could be spiritual, okay? Um, or it could just be a, a, just a, um, a shift in perspective, all right? Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah. And there it is. So I want to talk about these ones first. The Nine of Wands. And so this is confirmation, too, of the Wounded Warrior energy that you guys have been through a lot. All right? To say the least. Like, I don't want to downplay what you've been through because I know you've been through it. All right? Yes. Um, suffering doesn't even begin to explain. Right? But there's this energy. And I hate to use the word but because I don't want to downplay how strong you are because you're super strong. Okay? You know, like a million lions built into one heart. All right, understand it, accept that about yourself. I feel like maybe that's something you need to recognize is your strength as well, okay? And be proud of that, not in like an uh, egotistical, like arrogant way, but know, like to stand in your power and know how strong you are. Not There are not many that could come through what you've com come through, what you've gotten through, okay? No, not, not many at all, all right? People would give up by now. They would say no. They would be like, nope. I'm just not going to try. I'm just, I'm just, it's not, it's not for me. All right. But that's the ego. When something tells you like, it's just not for you. Is that fear telling you it's not for you? Or are you being guided and saying there's a better way? All right. Because let me tell you, um, your, your higher self is never going to say to you, it's not for you. All right. If you can see it within your mind, higher font energy, right? If you can see it in your mind, then it, you can make it reality, all right? And that's the wisdom of the higher font. And the wisdom of the higher font is also this energy of being able to um, kind of stand. Um, it's not even in cement. It's like standing with your feet grounded, like, like you're rooted beyond measure to where you completely trust the guidance that you are receiving. And your guidance is telling you there's a better way. There is a better way. There is a better way that will bring more money, more cash flow, more success, more fulfillment, more happiness, more joy, more satisfaction, more peace, more calmness. Okay, there is a better way, and you just you have to trust that. You have to trust yourself, and you also have to accept that there is a better way. You have to accept that you no longer have to live in this energy of defense. That you can live over here in freedom because you're fully trusting yourself, which you are trusting the universe. You're trusting your guides, and therefore everything around you, you will be able to trust. All right, because you have this clear discernment. Also, um, the higher font talks about a new commitment. Yeah, a new contract. Again, so uh, a huge um, cycle is ending. The world is turning. You come into a new contract within self. Maybe a contract to teach or um, a spiritual teacher is coming through. I just heard guru, yoga teacher, these kinds of things. But it doesn't have to be any of that. It could just be um, a contract. And it might even be something with a contract with, um, what am I hearing? I'm hearing, um, you know, to help activate star seeds or to help star seeds um, clear energy or just to channel the galactic um, this could come in a, a million different ways, okay? It could come through sound healing. It could come through any anything, anything, all right? Um, some of you guys, I feel like, maybe need to have the confirmation that you are um, a channel, that you are a prophet, that you are even a psychic medium, all right? So if any of that resonates for you, that's your confirmation, all right? Yeah, that these are skills and talents. Now, not only are you this, but you have mastered this. All right. So you just need to bring that uh, from your past lifetime, that mastery. Call your soul fragments, your power, your energy, your mastery back. All right. And then accept it. Call it back and then accept it. All right. From the seed point of conception, through all time, space, dimension, and reality, I call back my mastery, my energy, my power, my soul fragments, all clean, clear, high vibed, lifted, and healed, integrated. And I accept this energy with fullest gratitude. Right. 
so be it. Um, and then this is what came out. And then we're going to get a surrender card for you guys in, in the reading. So five of wands and two of wands. So this is like, I, I love this over here. So, all right, sorry. I put this here. Uh, I was directed to put it here because it's only this, uh, you have to detach from the wounded warrior. This is not detaching from the experience, like from the wisdom gained. It's detaching from the trauma. Okay, that's what this is. So in order for you to get your wish fulfillment of um, this emotional fulfillment, all right, your, your wish, your dream, okay, whatever it is, you have to surrender. You know, this is a daily practice. I surrender more and more and more, you know, doing your breathing exercises and surrendering, running and saying the word, I surrender, uh, dancing, saying the word, I surrender, just allowing yourself to open and release it all release all attachments so it's like detached and non-attachment are the two words okay that are activating words to release um your mental body emotional body all right to release trauma and this and that so yeah the dolphins are here like crazy because i keep saying this and that so that might be for somebody if you felt like the dolphin was your spirit guide or your, sp your spirit totem or your power animal at this time or what have you um that's a confirmation for you too and also, um, I don't know, I just heard the names uh, Michael and Larry. I don't know who who they are, but um, somebody likes tacos. I love it. Oh, my goodness. All right, guys. Somebody's funny. I just heard Barbara, too. Somebody's so funny. They called me Barb. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to open the... the but it came through. When we get into this past life, ancestors want to come through and they want to talk to you. Like, they want to just talk. Yeah, and they want you to know, okay, they want you to know that you have been climbing. There's been something you've been, you feel you've been competing for, but you have, have to or you will or you are starting to say, I have no competition. You have no competition, okay? You are the GOAT. You need, you need to claim that, okay? You need to claim that. Yes. No one has your gifts. No one has your experiences. No one has uh, the knowledge that you have gained from the wisdom from everything that you've gone through. All right. Your set of lives that you have lived all the way up into this moment make you unique as fuck. Okay. There is there is no replicating who you are. So there's nobody to compete with. You know, the climb is the climb of self. It's you versus your shadow. That's what this competition is. You know what I mean? Like you versus self-sabotage and like letting it go. You versus the negative thought and letting it go. Like that's the only competition that you have. And I feel like a lot of you are coming into the understanding and you are feeling worthy and deserving of accepting that concept for yourself. And this allows you to take your eye off of other people's balls, other people's lives, other people's come-ups, other people's whatevers, you know, this kind of thing. And um, judgment, it, it helps you to take your eye off of judgment, Right. And you face your own fears and you face your own self and, and you're fully happy and satisfied within. And that brings this wish fulfillment as well. All right. Because um, you have space for it. And this also brings you in. You're feeling worthy and deserving. You know where you're going and you feel so damn good about it. So blessed. So grateful. So humbled. Like, yes, I finally believe it is possible. You know, and manifestation um, conscious manifestation, okay, when you want to, you envision something and, and you want to go after that dream that your heart keeps telling you is yours, the, the key is belief, the key is belief, right, and how you get to belief is you accept and you trust, and then the universe will show you time after time after time i am here for you i'm showing up for you i am your business partner i am your co-creator all right and again with the travel okay they're showing me that they're pointing it out um maybe somebody's going to go to the beach because i'm definitely looking at the surfboard there is also this energy of um there's also this energy of you guys doing yoga there's a it's called, what is it called again? The wave, wave yoga, the wave pose. Okay, thank you. Which helps to keep Aquarius in balance, okay? So um, you can look that up there. I found different ways to do it. All right, but um, 
do the one that that seems to resonate with you the most all right just do your own research and it will help you to keep balance so again remember that um on this journey it's not just about you know keeping your emotions clear keeping your mind clear um it's not just about that. It's about the physical journey as well. And um, the yoga and doing certain yoga poses for Aquarius, not only is it going to help your physical body, but it will certainly help all of your bodies, okay? Yeah, and to keep you um, activated and balanced and harmony in all 10 bodies, all 12 layers. Let's pull this surrender card for you guys. I just heard surrender denial of your purpose. So that's definitely for someone out there. All right. So maybe some of you guys are not accepting that you're meant to teach about um, self. To me, spirituality is just self, knowing thyself. All right. So, you know, maybe somebody is just not accepting it. And maybe it's the shift of how you think that you're supposed to teach or how you think you're supposed to enlighten other people with the things, the knowledge, the experience that you've gained on your own journey. Like, um, it, it's, it doesn't have to be in some set format. Again, you're the visionary. You're, you're the inventor, the tool maker, right? So you can teach your through your experience and your knowledge in any way that makes you feel comfortable. You don't have to wear all white and sit in, you know, um, the freaking, what is it, pose? <laughs> yeah, I think he's sitting in it now. Yeah, the lotus pose. That's If that's not how you teach, that's okay. All right. You can teach in a different way. You know, you could teach through sound. You can teach through uh, poems. You could teach through whatever, however that is to you. And we got surrender to peace. So once when you surrender to peace, you surrender to trust. OK. And it says, let me just put it up here so you can kind of see it a little better. And I feel like this is definitely going to come into you. So some of you have been wanting to feel worthy and like not waver from your own worth, know your value, feel your value, and also inner peace, okay? So these are also things besides emotional fulfillment that are gonna be coming in. But remember, when you get emotional fulfillment, usually those pieces of the puzzle uh, emotionally that seem to not fit, all of a sudden they transform and now they fit and you feel whole and complete, all right? So this is definitely sacral chakra energy as well as heart energy that's getting an upgrade, guys. It says, cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments. Focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. I f okay, I forget. Oh, the energy healing video that we just did. If you guys are you want assistance with that, that is a great video to watch because there's a practice in the beginning that helps you to surrender. It teaches you how to surrender. Just another method of of surrendering um but you just sitting quietly and just saying to yourself i surrender all and just and just breathe in and then just allow expand empty surrender it all you don't need any beliefs any thoughts any emotions you can surrender everything and just be your source okay be the kingdom mm, that's really powerful yeah, and with this, <laughs> look at that. Surrender to the wisdom of your body. So um, some of you guys, once you get into your meditative state, your breathing, maybe after you write your affirmations, um, you can use your hands because some of you definitely are, uh, are reikiists, okay? You're healers with your hands. Um, I like to activate my hands by putting the flower of life uh, symbol or the seed of life symbol on my hands and just and just feeling the activation and then I put my hand wherever my body wants to lead me and usually so like if I put my my hand here like this is what I'm feeling here I will receive uh images okay of what's going on right here that what needs to be seen okay what needs to be accepted and what needs to be released and once I see this right and I accept it 
then I can release it. And I, I literally see it like dissolving out, coming out through my hands and leaving my body. And that's just like a practice that you can cultivate. Um, that's the word cultivate, right? So cultivating, you're taking the weeds out of your body, of your, of your physical body as well. This is how you can remove trauma. Um, somebody has trauma in their neck right now, okay? That's how you can remove trauma. Somebody's having trauma over here in their thumb, okay? You can do that, breathe a bit, activate your hands, come over here, and, and with your uh, third eye, your clairvoyance, okay, visionary, you, you receive it, all right? I'm not going to go into, um, I'm going to tap out, okay? I'm going to tap out, yeah, tapping out, all right? I'm going to tap out, but that, because this is something for you to do. Again, the journey is to know thyself. A spiritual journey is to know thyself. It is to discover thyself. It is to become enlightened to your own gifts, abilities, talents, um, to, to who you are. It's remembrance. It's awakening, okay? Oh, this is very powerful. I really enjoyed this reading. Um, I enjoy all the readings, but this there's something in this that there there's just this um I don't know. I just feel maybe it's divine feminine. It's really just holding space uh, for Aquarius Collective right now, just allowing um, the the parts of us that need to take action to heal. You know what I'm saying? So again, healing that masculine energy, um, so that you can take action from heart heart centered action, and also believe in yourself and trust your inner guidance. No matter if it makes sense or not, it may not be logical. All right, you just you just trust. You just you just trust, and and you follow spirit's lead. You follow your heart's lead. Yes. And again, you know, if you guys want a personal reading or if you um, want to do energy clearing or want um, a custom activation, the link is in the description. I appreciate you. Yeah. And I love your comments. I absolutely, I absolutely love your comments. And I love knowing how this hit for you, what resonated for you. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just honored to be here and to be um, channeling for you guys. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.